Builders are putting the final touches to these concrete works, while others are doing the piping. This is how engineers want to fix Kampala's sewage problem, which is polluting Lake Victoria. Machiumbo Channel feeds directly into Lake Victoria. The swamps around Lake Victoria have been denuded because of human activity, so there is need to clean it up. Engineers on the project say the new plant will have the capacity to treat all the waste water from the capital. It's a highly mechanized plant. We have sensors on almost all the control units of the plant. Uh, these sensors are also supposed to check quality and what flows come in. When complete, this plant is expected to treat over 45 million liters of waste water per day. Water engineers here say it will help cut down pollution levels on Lake Victoria and also reduce on the cost of treating domestic water for use. Kampala has pockets of slums where sanitation is poor. According to Uganda's National Water Corporation, 8% of the population in Greater Kampala is connected to the sewer line. And a bigger percentage of the waste is washed down the channel when it rains. This has pushed up the price for clean water. Last year we were spending about 400 million shillings per month to treat water. This cost has gone up to 700, 800 million. What it means is that it has actually doubled. Besides treating waste, the plant will also generate electricity when construction is done. For us, we have about 630 kilowatts of power production here from biogas. The structures you see behind me are anaerobic slide digesters. They are very complicated and very complex to construct. These structures are supposed to help us in the production of biogas. And after completing this automation process, this plant is expected to start operation in January next year. Environmentalists are hopeful that this could be the ultimate solution to save Lake Victoria from high levels of pollution. Hilara Isiga, CGTN, Kampala.